Huh. Then you should be careful too, Subawu. Rem, be sure to protect him. Of course. You really get our dynamic, huh? I don't mind walking around the capital, but wandering around aimlessly won't get us anywhere. If you wish to obtain results, you must set the appropriate objectives. But as we do not have much time, I am unsure how much we will be able to accomplish. Do we get in touch with the other candidates, or do we go on the offensive and track down Wolf? Subaru, doing something so dangerous is... I know. It'd be great if we could take him out once and for all, but that's just me being idealistic. So, in that case... <laughs> hmm? What's up, Rem? Apologies, Subaru. I was just curious about the people on the other side of the road. The other side? Wait, what? A crying girl? And is that solemn? Subaru, do you know him? Mm, it's kind of hard to explain, but he's not a bad guy. Very well. Then he is not attempting to kidnap that child. He must have other intentions. I guess we can try asking him. Yes, I agree. Hey, you got a moment? <laughs> whoa, whoa, this is the very image of a person in distress. This situation is... <clears throat> Don't tell me she's your kid. No, she's lost. Lost, you say? I thought so. Using sweets isn't a bad strategy. All right then, leave this to me. Hey, little girl, are you okay? This guy isn't a bad person or anything. <laughs> Your eyes are so scary. <laughs> She's a formidable one. It's Tree's got a pretty rough-looking face, but. Mine? I'm honestly kind of hurt here. Rem, it's no good. Can I tag you in? Understood. Please let Rem handle this. <laughs> you there. Please listen to what I have to say. Very cute! They aren't scary at all! Got ah! Rem! Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't think of how serious I sounded. You sure shocked me! It was like you were going up against a mob beast or something. Rem has made a blunder. This is my mistake for not understanding Rem's feelings. Wait, am I really the one at fault here? Oh, 
She's starting to cry like a monster. But we just wanted... <sighs> Rem would likely have the opposite effect now. Stay quiet and just watch, but... Hmm? Just what in the world are you all even doing? Whoa! My creep, this is what I get for leaving this mess to you lot. All of you are just a bunch of nincompoops. You're... I mean, I totally get what you mean, but still... Problem? Why do you have to be so roundabout with her? Did we even do anything, Rem? You have been working hard, Subaru. Rem believes what you are doing is admirable. Yeah, thanks. Looks like Puka's efforts managed to help calm the girl down, but... Hey you! Let me go! I'm not a stuffed toy! Puka! So fluffy, so cute! Uh, she's not listening! Hey Solemn! Say something, will ya? Play as much as you'd like. Spoiled little kid. Oh, whatever. Anyway, what's with you two? Rem and Subaru saw Mr. Solemn having trouble communicating with this little girl. We couldn't just watch such a sad sight play out, so we decided to help. Though, we didn't really do much. I appreciate the thought, at least. But if you're done here, you can leave. Huh? Whoa, hang on a second. We're not quite finished. You still need to find this kid's parents, right? Yes. Then we can lend a hand. We couldn't make her stop crying, but with all of us looking for her parents, it should be a breeze. True, the more people looking would make that easier. But why are you so willing to help her? You're not related to this child, are you? Same goes for you. My reasoning is rather simple. What is it? To do one good deed a day! What a wonderful attitude! Rem truly admires you! Subaru also has a kind personality that cannot overlook those who are in need. Rem will offer her aid as well. Huh, what a meddling personality. Hmm? What? Is it okay to help them? Well, I suppose so. They don't seem to harbor any ill will, so I'll let you tag along. I don't know about the boy, but the girl at least seems to be reliable. Don't look down on me! I'll show you! Just you watch! Do your best, Mr. Scary Eyes. I'm rooting for you. Don't make it sound like this is my problem. You're the one we're helping out here. But if she is this composed now... We will be able to focus on our search without worries. 
I guess that's true. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah, we should introduce ourselves. My name's Subaru Natsuki, and this is... I am Rem. It is a pleasure to meet you. We look forward to working with you. Yeah, yeah, I got... I'm Puka, and as you can already tell, I'm a spirit. This here is my contractor. Solemn. Nice to meet you. All right, then let's quickly complete our mission and get this kid home. Let's go! Are you the one in charge here? Of course. Don't worry, we'll find them for you. Yay! I'm glad. With that said, Solom, Puka, Rem, do you have any suggestions how we can go about that? R right. I, I doubt they've gone very far, so I think we should focus on searching somewhere nearby. I agree. There is a high chance of them being close. What do you think, Solom? You good with our plan? I disagree. Assuming they're looking for her too, it's possible they've left the area. I guess that makes sense. You do tend to wander around pretty far when you're looking for someone. Wait, did Solomon just talk? He can, he just doesn't most of the time. Well, he spoke more than one sentence, so it took me by surprise. And he made a good point too. What are you talking about? a man of common sense. You should really change your evaluation of him. Yeah, yeah. So Solemn has a soft spot for kids and uses common sense and he can talk properly. Alright, update complete. Anything else you want me to update while I'm at it? Hmm. Solemn doesn't partake in senseless chatter. S senseless I just wanted to know more about Solemn! Anyway, just like Solemn said, there's a chance those two went pretty far searching for their child. Now that you mention it, I agree. There is no guarantee that they are still nearby. Yes, we mustn't eliminate the possibility that they went to great lengths to find their child. Uh, hello? The conversation is moving along without me, but can you hear me out too? What now? You just derail every conversation, so I don't want to hear anything from you. Rem would very much like to hear Subaru's thoughts on the matter. <sighs> you spoil him too much. That's why he turned out like this. Isn't that a bit mean? I'd say I'm a pretty good kid myself. Everyone just tends to judge me harshly because of my eyes. Another pointless conversation. Subaru is also cute when he is being scolded. <sighs> What's your problem? We haven't talked about anything important. If you have something to add, then hurry up and say it. Alright, now that I've got permission. Now what? Like Solemn said, I think we should search beyond this area. The girl's parents are probably searching for her this very moment, so I bet they wandered pretty far off. That happens a lot in these kinds of situations. Like when you're stranded on a mountain, the best thing you can do is not to move from your original spot. But people aren't very good at staying still when they're in danger like that. They usually tend to wander around aimlessly and end up in a worse predicament than they already were. I'm sure this girl walked around looking for her parents, so that may have taken her farther away from them. We shouldn't confine ourselves to this area alone. We should search other places too. However, I think Rem should handle that. 
There's something else I want to ask you, Solemn. Something to ask me? Yeah. But before I get to that... Rem, it might be tough on your own, but can I ask you to search the areas farther away from here? Of course, Subaru. Any request of yours is no problem at all for Rem. Then we'll leave that to the maid, which means Solemn will focus on the area around here, right? Yes. Understood. Please leave the other areas to Rem. No objections here. Wait, why are you taking the lead, Puka? Isn't this where I make the grand decision? You got a problem with that? It's faster if I make all the calls. True, that is a task more suited for Puka. Not you too, Solemn. What did you want to ask me? Whoa. Since Puka took over as the leader, I nearly forgot. I figured. Good grief. If it's something so easy to forget, I doubt it's all that important. That's not true. It's absolutely important. Then out with it already. You're wasting our time we could be using to search. I think... I feel like someone should watch over the little girl. But I also think we should find her parents as quickly as possible. So then, what do you think we should do? Even if you ask me, I'm not really sure. What do you think, Puka? I don't know either, but we shouldn't keep talking in circles. We should just start looking for her parents. That sounds good to me. We don't know when a solution will arise, so let's not waste time thinking about it. By the way, Puka, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna stay with the girl? That's right! I'll stay by the child's side! Yay! I'll have tons of fun with Puka! So fluffy, fluffy! <laughs> don't touch me so much! Be more gentle! Guess we don't have to worry about her if Puka's by her side. Anyway, if possible, it'd help if you stayed somewhere out in the open to make it easier for her parents to spot her. You're right. It would be better to wait somewhere that stands out. In that case, why not wait by the fountain? You should be easy to spot from afar there. All right, let's have them wait in front of the fountain. Sound good? Oh, fine. I'll wait with the child in front of the fountain. All right, and it's time to start the search. Solemn, Rem, stick to the plan. Right. Yes, Subaru. I'll write it down.
Hey, can I ask you something? I'm looking for the parents of a lost child. Oh, that's too bad. I might have seen them a while back, though. Thanks. That information helps a lot. And if you see them again, let them know their daughter is in front of the water fountain in the plaza. All right, I'll let them know if I see them again. Excuse me, I'm looking for the parents of a lost girl. Would you happen to know anything about them? Oh, poor child. I hope she finds her parents soon. Me too. But to make any more progress, I need more inf- I see. I wish I could- However, I did see a couple who fit your description a little while ago. That's more than enough to go on. Thank you. <laughs> Glad to be of help. I hope you find her parents soon. Same here. I'll do my best to find them as soon as possible. And if you happen to see them again, please tell them that their daughter is waiting in front of the fountain. All right. If I see them, I'll let them know. Have you seen a couple walk by here looking for their daughter? Yeah, I think I saw them. Do you remember how long ago? I'd like to know the exact time you saw them. It was quite a while ago, so I don't remember the exact time. So I see. That's plenty of info for me. Oh, if you happen to see them again, please tell them that their daughter- All right, if I see them again- Hey, you got a minute? I'm looking for the parents of a lost girl. Would you mind telling me anything you know about them? Parents of a lost girl? I think I saw a couple looking for their missing child earlier. It was a while back, though. Seriously? That helps me a lot. Thanks. Oh, and if you see them again, tell them their daughter is in front of the fountain in the plot. Understood. If I see them again, I'll make sure they know where to... Have you seen any parents looking for their child? Their little girl is still young, so they're probably a younger couple. Come to think of it, I saw a couple desperately searching for their child. It's been a while since I saw them, though. I appreciate the information. Please let me know if you learn anything new. Also, if they pass by you again... Okay, then. Rem, let me know if you obtain any new information. Yes, Subaru. According to someone from the Nobles District, they have not seen a couple looking for a child over there. I see. So no witnesses in the Nobles District. Okay then. Keep up the good work, Rem. Yes, Subaru. Hey, excuse me. Can I talk to you for a sec? I'm looking for the parents of a lost girl. Have you seen or heard anything about them? Parents of a lost girl? Oh, I think I saw them a while ago. Thanks a lot. If you happen to see them again, tell them their daughter is in front of the fountain in the plaza. All right, if I see them again, I'll let them know.
Hey, can I ask you something? We found a lost child looking for her parents. Have you happened to come across anyone looking for their kid? You know what? I think I did see a couple looking for their lost child, but it was a while ago. Thank you. I appreciate your help. If you see them, would you mind telling them that their little girl is waiting in front of the fountain? Sure thing. If I see them again, I'll make sure to let them know. Where could it be? Solemn, any new info? Yes. Nobody has seen anyone around that street over there, so there is no point searching that area. That's true. We don't need to search somewhere without any leads. Thanks a lot, Solemn. Keep up the good work. Right. <laughs> Have you seen a couple searching for their daughter? I'm sure they passed through here. Oh yeah, I saw them. They walked by looking for their lost child. It hasn't been that long since I saw them. Great! Thanks for the info. Does that mean they're still close by? Yeah, most likely. If you see them again... Okay then. How are you feeling? Lonely at all? No, I'm fine. Puka's here. That's a good girl. We're trying our best to find your parents as fast as we can. Okay. Please find my parents. I'm counting on you. Find your parents as soon as you can. Yeah, I know. No matter what. Where could it be? While I'm here, is there any- Sorry, I can't- Where could it be? Subaru! I found a new eyewitness! They said they saw a couple that may have been the girl's parents near the florist. Moreover, it sounds like it was not long ago. Seriously? That's really valuable intel! Her parents must be nearby! Let's find them fast! Yes! I will continue asking around so we-
how are you? Not getting lonely, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Kuka's with me, so I'm okay. That's a good girl. We're trying our best to find your parents as fast as we can, so you stay here and be good, okay? Yep, I'll be good and it seems she's starting to get a little worried. Got it, Puka. Of course! Where could it be? Salam, any progress on your end? Yes. Somebody said they saw the little girl's parents over by that alley. That's a valuable clue! Alright, I should work harder so I don't fall too... Based on the information I've obtained so far, her parents must be searching for her too. I'm worried about that little girl. Guess I'll go back and check on her real quick. Oh, you guys are here too? I was worried about her, so I decided I should make sure she was faring well. Me too. You've looked everywhere. It's like they're nowhere to be found. I get dizzy with so many people around. Plus, it makes this girl's parents that much harder to find. But no matter how many people, there's only one mommy and daddy. They're so precious to me. Does this kid really need our help? Don't say that, Subaru. I understand your stress at not finding your parents, but this child still seems very restless. Does she look all that restless to you? She looks pretty calm to me. Hm? Hmm? What is it, Solemn? If you have something to say... <gasps> Mommy! Daddy! Oh, what a relief. We were looking all over for you. We were really worried. I'm glad to see you're safe. Um, Mr. and everyone helped me. Even the one with the scary eyes. Did you have to single me out like that? <laughs> oh, I see. Thank you very much for taking care of our daughter. Is there any way we can show you our thanks? We really thought we'd never see her again. You were worried that much? It's a good thing we happened to cross paths. We're relieved too, right? Yes. Please, allow us to repay you somehow. Even the evil-eyed fellow there! Uh, now the mom too? I'm just a regular guy, you know! Please calm yourself, Subaru. I am sure this is merely a slip of the tongue after releasing some tension. Really? Is that really how it is? Isn't it more that the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree? <laughs> She's laughing at me! Good grief. I am relieved that child safely returned to her parents. Yeah, I'm just glad nothing serious happened. Still, you're all a bunch of softies. You were mocked so much that you didn't even want a reward. <sighs> you found that kid first, remember? You insisted on not accepting anything yourself, so of course I'd do the same. Besides, I didn't do this for a reward in the first place. Yes, exactly. Even if the parents insulted him instead of thanking him properly, Subaru would not mind. Wait, hold on! That'd really hurt, you know! Look, I said I didn't want any reward earlier. Now I'm thinking I'd at least like a thank you. <laughs> you guys sure are strange. <laughs> huh? Is that the candy you gave to that girl? Are you giving me some? Just take it. Solemn is thanking you for your help, too. Oh, I see. Don't mind if I do, then. Hmm. Rem can have some as well. Rem gratefully accepts your offer. Isn't this nice, Subaru? Yeah. Besides, that girl's smile, along with this candy, is plenty rewarding enough for us. 
I see. Huh? Rem can have some more? Thank you very much. Yes. Hmm. Rem gets some more and I don't? Where's my fair share? You said you had plenty, so Solemn took that to heart. As you know, Solemn isn't that great at communicating. <sighs> it would feel weird for me to say, I want more candy too! <sighs> Subaru, this is quite the treat. Don't rub it in! Fine. Then I'll savor mine and earn more snacks with my food reviewing skills. Whoa! It just melts away in my mouth. Its creamy taste is dancing on my tongue. This is like a treasure trove of flavor! Sounds to me like you're being a little dramatic. No way! I'm totally serious! But I got so into the food review that I ended up going a bit overboard. Please accept my humblest apologies. Rem also thinks it was wonderful. Rem will have her second one now. <sighs> Rem is the only one on my side. <laughs> oh. You're so pitiful, Solemn's offering you more. I don't know if I like the way you put it, but I accept! Who could say no to these babies? <clears throat> You're devouring them like you haven't eaten in days. <laughs> ah, those were good. But come to think of it, why are you walking around with a bunch of candy? Are they your snacks? Or is it Puka's pet food, maybe? Oh, how rude! I don't need pet food! I'm a spirit! It is true. Spirits are supplied with mana by their contractors, so they do not need to eat like us. Huh. So is that how Mealy and Puck are, too? Almost certainly. <sighs> hmm? Subaru! The time! We must have lost track while we were searching for that lost child's parents! Huh? Uh-oh! Crap! Will we still make it? Rem, do you sense anything strange from Rom? Um, no. I have not experienced any synesthesia from Sister. They're either safe on the road, or it's possible they never even left the mansion for some reason. Whatever. We need to hurry and check for ourselves. What's this all of a sudden? You seem to be in a rush. Hmm. Yeah, sorry about that. I really wanted to get to know you guys better, but we've got something we need to take care of. Let's talk more some other time. Solemn, Puka, thanks for today! Apologies for our sudden haste, but we will be taking our leave now. Mr. Solemn, thank you very much for the delicious candy. Jeez, they're so restless. A debt. Hmm? Right, right. I'll interpret. Solomon is saying he's thankful for your help today. So, we owe you one. If something ever happens, you can count on us. Hmm. That's good to hear. Yeah, we'll definitely keep you two in mind. Anyway, see you later. Damn it. We really messed up there. This is no time to be looking for someone's parents. Would you have preferred to abandon that child and met with Miss Amelia instead? That's not what I mean! <laughs> Rem was only joking. Subaru would never do such a thing.
get rid of them, then the witch cult will... For now, let's get our things from the inn and go meet with Melee. So you have returned, Barusu. Huh? You look like a nitwit. I knew you would be fooling around in the royal capital, but you should be mindful of how you appear to others. Even someone like you is deemed worthy to serve Lord Roswell. You represent him here, yet you carry yourself so... despicable.